Hello Leo, welcome. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well wherever you are. Um, this is your reading for the 15th through to the 21st of February 2022 or thereabouts it could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, it is a general reading Leo as always so take what resonates with you but anything that doesn't leave that behind it's for somebody else at this time. All right, so let's get into your reading, starting with the Oracle of Visions. So what does, what's important for Leo to consider at this time, please? What's important for Leo at this time? Right, we've got number 43 and this talks about obsession, delusion, self-interest. Um, Alright, so we'll see where that comes in, sort of being very preoccupied with self. Um, and we'll see what that's referring to for you, Leo. Okay, just put that to one side. And number 52, so we've got, this is about messages, um, sorry, this is about direction, um, heading in a certain direction, having purpose and objectives, taking the first step in this direction that you are, are see yourself going in, or um, an energy around you of um, taking that first step. All right. Okay, Leo. Let's get into your reading. So using the Gilded Tarot. Well, that didn't work out very well, did it? <laughs> so what's important for Leo to be consider or be aware of at this time? What's happening with Leo at this time, please? So at the heart of your reading, Leo, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward, and something else your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Swords. So this is fear-based thoughts, um, thoughts that keep you awake at night, become magnified. Um, that's not to minimise the fact that there is, you know, difficult something on your mind that, that's... that's um, going over and over in your mind but with the nine of swords energy it, it's becoming too big it's becoming bigger than what it should be it's becoming magnified all right so let's put that to one side so let's clarify all the cards on the table right, so we clarify all the cards on the table please for leo clarify all the cards on the table for leo at the bottom of the deck we've got the seven of pentacles um this is about timing um it's a, it's a bit of a slow energy um so what we see here is that uh, the roots are firmly in the ground there's good roots here so something's well established um but it's still in its early stages so it needs time and attention it needs nurturing to grow it needs a focus on it to grow but um, it'll mean something different for all of you, um, but this is very much about timing. 
um, and something at its early stages, although there's a good something, but it's well established here. Okay. All right, let's see where this is going for you. So at the heart of your reading, uh, Leo, we've got the Seven of Cups and the World. So the Seven of Cups, this is about having lots of options and choices, um, but it's a bit overwhelming. It's difficult to know which one to choose. It's that sort of an energy. Um, and it's to do with an old cycle completing. So something is completing, something is ending, an old cycle is ending, ready for a new cycle to begin. So, and it's an old cycle that needs to complete. It's a natural ending to, to an old, old cycle. Um, but that clarifies these choices. There's lots of options, choices on the table. It's difficult, it's overwhelming. You know, and which one to go for as, as this old cycle is completing. And of course, every single cup here is, has got a different content, you see, so it has a different meaning. And with so many there, that's why, it, why it's, that is quite difficult. Okay. The root of this, we have the Hanging Man and the Ace of Swords. Um, and the Hanging Man, um, so at the root of this, something has been hanging in the balance. Something has been stuck. Uh, meaning you have a limited perspective on a situation. Um, okay. And you've been trying to give a lot of logical thought to the situation. So the Ace of Swords is very much about acumen, mental acumen. Thinking, being very focused, trying to think things through to get more clarity, more information to do with whatever it is that's a bit stuck at the moment, that has been stuck because this is already in place, it's at the root of this situation. So trying to get more clarity on something that's that's just been hanging there, been a bit stuck, but, and having a limited perspective at the same time, uh, hence trying to give you know a lot of focused thought on this. So that's at the root of this situation. Um, so I can see why it then led on to the Seven of Cups with, you know, trying to think, you know, choose the right, select the right cup, select the right option, because something is completing. Okay. So past influences, we have the Hermit and the Ten of Swords. Um, now, the Hermit was very much a Virgo energy. Um, but what's happened in the past, you've been shining your light, trying to find a, a, the best way forward trying to tap into your inner self, your intuition, shining your light to find the right path because the path has felt a bit precarious. So you've wanted to take a step at a time and leave a very painful situation, a very difficult situation, something that's caused a lot of heartbreak and heart pain. So, you know, shining your light, finding a way down from this situation that that's been very difficult how to progress forward so lots of confusion and um a lack of confusion and a lack of clarity i feel on something that is ending something that's completing and trying to find your way to try to find the best way forward but of course you know things have been magnified in, in, in your mind with the nine of swords energy here because something is taking its time it's growing very slowly and needing a lot of time and attention so what's on your mind at the moment well we've got the knight of pentacles and the tower you're thinking about something that's coming in very slowly, something that's on its way, that you know is going to be good, it's solid gold, whatever it's to do with. But it's coming in very slowly and that's what you're thinking about. Um, and the clarifier is the tower. So 
although something is on its way, you're also thinking that something that's crumbling, something that's ending. You know, the tower, this, this tower um, is being raised to the ground and the universe is sending a bolt of lightning down because it was built on faulty foundations. It wasn't built to last. So whatever it is, it's coming to an end. Or that, and that's what you're thinking about. It has come to an end or it's coming to an end. Um, and whatever is being delivered, whatever is coming in, is coming in very slowly. Okay. Right, going forward, we have the Fool and we have the Seven of Cups. And of course, we've had the Seven of Cups right at the heart of your reading here. And here it is again going forward. So, here's the new beginning. You know, the tower is bringing an end to something. The, the world is an ending of a cycle. But here is the new beginning, the new opportunities going forward. But again, you're going to have to choose. There's, some, there's a choice you're going to have to make going forward. Con connected to this new beginning. Um, but it's about choosing wisely here. This is choosing wisely. Don't go for what appears that stands out from the crowd. It's not always the best option because here the, the red cup that stands out has got a snake under it, so it, it wouldn't be a good one to choose. But they've all got different content, so going forward, it's no beginning. It's choosing something wisely, whatever this new beginning means for you. So take your time. Don't rush into making a decision or uh, from um, a lot of options. It'll have a different meaning for all of you, um, Leo. Let me see what your guides want to say to you. OK, we've got the Devil Energy here and the Four of Wands. All right, now, the devil energy, this is, can be an obsessive energy, obsessing about something. And, of course, we've already seen the Nine of Swords, which is fear-based thoughts, magnified fear-based thoughts. So it could be that you're obsessing here, Leo. There's something that, as, as you're feeling a bit trapped uh, here, a bit stuck, you're feeling trapped um, and overthinking something that, that's holding you back. Uh, and it's to do with with the four of wands. This is um, this is a family situation, um, and generally this is the four of wands. In, in other decks, are talk about um, success, happiness, um, abundance within um, a family home, within the family home. But for me, as a reader, with this particular depiction, we've got the tent as the home. Um, that's well pegged down with the four wands. However, a tent, a tent for a home is transient. So you can easily unpeg, take the pegs out and move the tent to a new direction, a new location. So although the, 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 the thrust of the four of wands is still here, there's lots of celebration, happiness and joy, but it's to do with movement and to do with I feel it's to do with moving the tent, moving the home from one environment to another. All right. Um, but for some of you, that you're obsessing about this. It's very, very preoccupying. You know, it's on your mind a lot, um, keeping you feeling trapped, really. All right, so that's just for some of you. Leah, remember this reading won't be for everybody. I'm going to get some more information <clears throat> for you going forward. So could you have more information about the Fool and the Seven of Cups, please, going forward? Could we have some more information about the Fool and the Seven of Cups going forward, please? All 
right, we have the Hierophant <clears throat> here. Um, and this is universal blessings. Um, it's also receiving wise counsel. Um, it, the Hierophant is very much a godlike energy. It's a, it's a universal, um, abundant energy. But it's an energy that helps you to do the right thing, helps you to make the right decisions. Um, it also talks about having faith with the process. And connected to the Seven of Cups, we have the Magician. Yeah, so this is about manifesting. Manifesting the reality for yourself going forward. So helping to um, decide. The, man, the, man, the Magician helping you to decide um, which cup to turn over, which which selection to make here going forward so um all right could we have two more please two more <clears throat> right one more All right, there it is again. We've got the, the fall. All right. Um, at the bottom of the deck, uh, we've got the Princess of Wands here. Um, and this is just waiting now, waiting for things to come in. Um, whatever it is been wishing and dreaming of and, and hoping for. So this is just waiting now, waiting for, for it to come in. For things to appear, materialise. And connected to the fall... We have, um, as we talked about, the Hierophant. So, you know, something to do with this new beginning, this leap of faith, is be is well blessed, and it's the right thing, and it's keeping having faith as well, and and it's to do with the ending of a very painful and difficult situation here, with the ten of ten of swords. You know, it's going to help those swords to lift, um, and to release you from grieving over whatever it is you've been you know, this sense of loss and grief is going to help to lift those swords. Right. And, okay, so connected to the Seven of Cups, the Magician, you know, manifesting, you know, the, the an idea, the decision, manifesting the decision, the right, make to make the right decision. Bringing things together, bringing energies together so that you can manifest the reality for yourself going forward and, and helping you to make the right choice, to make choices, good choices going forward. And yes, the temperance. Um, and this is achieve, to achieve harmony and balance in your life, within you and around you. Um, having patience and also bringing healing down for you. So a beautiful and temperate energy here and this is all to do with um, this new beginning here we have the fall again taking this leap of faith you're taking a leap of faith here it's a new opportunities new beginnings and you're going to have opportunities and choices and you're going to be able to you're going to find out and know which are the best ones what to choose which are the best choices for yourself going forward because you're going to take your time. You're going to take your time. You're going to have patience and it's going to bring in healing for you. And it's going to relieve this, you know, the swords are going to live from this difficult situation. Uh, and you're being well blessed by the Hierophant, you know, sending down wise counsel. And I feel here with number 43, you know, which talked about obsession, delusion, self-interest. Well, you know, I, I, I just feel that's linked with the devil energy here and the nine of swords. You know, overthinking things, wondering how things are going to be for yourself, where you're going to fit in with this, you know, movement going forward, even this transient energy. 
you know, moving environment within the family home. So just, you know, a bit preoccupied with how it's going to be, how it's going to look, where you, where you will fit in with the overall scheme of things. You know, what's in it for you is that sort of an energy. But it's, it can be quite preoccupying. So it's just, I think your guys are just want, wanting to make you mindful about that. Leo. Okay. I'm going to get two final messages. Could we have two final messages for Leo, please, to complete this reading? Two final messages for Leo. But remember, we've got here um, number 52, which is about having direction, purpose, sense of purpose, objectives taking the first step. So very much at the, in the early stages, right at the beginning of this new adventure, a new journey. And of course, you know, it can make us feel a little bit wobbly, like we're walking on shifting sands. You know, so I can, you know, totally understand that. And that's why we've got the Nine of Swords here, with fear-based thoughts. Um, you know, and having to walk away from this difficult situation. We've had the Ten of Swords twice on the table, once in the past and then for going forward. But it's definitely moving on. It's going to, this new journey, new beginning, going to help you move on from uh, past difficulties. Okay. Right, yes, here we go. So, unknown territory. Um, you are exactly where you need to be. And navigating the stars, follow your bliss. So, you are going to be going into unknown territory. You haven't trodden on this path before, Leo. This is something new. This is a new, a new path, new adventure. Um, you're right at the beginning of it. And so, it can feel a bit... Uh, disconcerting can't it it can feel a bit um it can provoke anxiety but what the universe wants to say to you is you are exactly where you need to be this is all part of your your sole purpose your journey um and just look upon it as the next stage of your adventure your life adventure Um, navigate by the stars. You're being guided here, the universal guidance. Um, and it may be a bit dark and you're not clear, it's not clear which way you're going forward, but allow the universe, the stars and the moon to guide you here. And follow your bliss. So what is it that feels right for you? Go in the direction that feels right for you, Leo. Navigate by the stars. You're not on your own. You're being guided. So it's a lovely reading. Um, I can see a lot of movement going forward now. Lots of positive messages here, positive energies. Um, I know something's probably been coming in very slowly. Because we have the Princess of Wands and we have the Knight of Pentacles, which are two slow energies. But there is movement here as well. You know, but you're right on the cusp of this new beginning, new venture. Just try not to um, obsess too much about it, if you can. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Leo. And this reading won't be for everybody, but whoever it's for, and I hope you recognise your story here, um, good luck going forward. And until next time, bye-bye for now.